Hello and welcome everybody. This is another PPC's video. I'm PPC's Matt and today we are going to be talking about which coolant is right for your loop. There's been a lot of new coolants been released this year. Um, there's also just a lot of coolants on the market. So I just kind of wanted to cover the basics for those of you that are new to water cooling and really kind of just get baffled by all the options out there because it can be quite a daunting task to pick which coolant is right for your first loop. So as you can see over here, I've got a bunch of different like Mayhems. Um, I have some UFO as well. I've also got Mayhems cleaners, which is something I should touch on first. So here's like Mayhems part two cleaner. This is for your whole loop. Uh, I would definitely recommend running something like this or even like uh, Primo Chill, Sys Prep, or they have Reboot now. Anything like that, even through a new loop, is highly recommended just to clean out anything that could have gotten in there while you're building it or even just from the manufacturer themselves. Part one from Mayhem's, their cleaning solution is for radiators. This is definitely recommended or at least um, do quite a few flushes with distilled water of your radiators, even if they're brand new, especially if they're brand new. If they're used, you still want to do the same thing. As far as coolant goes though, uh, as I said, there's lots of choices. On the left here, you can see I have a bunch of Mayhem's X1. Uh, these are both concentrates. Concentrates work in the way that uh, obviously there's less coolant here, but what you do is you add it to your distilled water and then you actually make a premix coolant that way. Um, something like this pastel bottle is actually a premix coolant. Same with these UFO bottles, they are also premix coolants. Um, all of these options though come with all the additives and biocides and whatnot in there. You don't need uh, silver kill coil. I actually don't recommend a silver kill coil in really any loop anymore. If you have nickel in your loop, it's just not recommended. The kill coil is going to break down and clog your loop just the same as uh, any kind of growth or uh, particle fallout would. So I just stick to something that already has the biocides in it. Primo chills, coolants do, mayhems do, uh, even thermal take. They they actually have a lot of uh, anti corrosives in there, so you can run that stuff with aluminum. However, overall, I would just stick to anything like this. Um, you can get dyes, but I wouldn't just add dye to distilled water. You will get growth eventually in there. You, it's, it's just going to happen, and stuff grows in water, and it likes warmth, and your loop has warm water in it. So avoid that. Get something like a biocide of some sort in there. Uh, as far as if this is your first loop ever, I would definitely shine more towards a transparent fluid like the X1 line from Mayhem's. Um, Primo Chill has a bunch of uh, transparent fluids too. There's opaque fluids, like I said, like Mayhem's Pastel. They can be a little bit more challenging. If stuff goes wrong with them, they can be a little bit harder to clean out. Um, color change kind of can happen quite frequently with them. But aside from that, they're usually not too bad. As long as you're ready to uh, you know, change your coolant out within like the next six months or more. I mean, I've had Pastels run even longer than that, or opaques. However, uh, they usually do require a little more maintenance. I definitely would not recommend something like UFO Cryo Chills coolant for a first time builder or um, Primo Chill View, any kind of those effect coolants. Aurora just isn't recommended for a long term coolant really at all. So I wouldn't use those, especially if a new builder. Um, they can work perfectly fine. I've seen plenty of loops where both View and UFO work just fine. However, if stuff goes wrong, it uh, can require quite a lot of maintenance to uh, get that all cleaned out and back up and running. So that, for a first time uh, water cooler's experience, probably wouldn't be so good. So I just kind of stay away from that. After you get some more experience and you've had a loop for a year and you kind of know how it works, then maybe try it out. But always just be prepared if you're going to get a, a 3D effect coolant like VIEW or UFO, uh, that there could be a lot more maintenance involved. There's definitely a lot of prep work, but as I said before, put in the time before you fill up your loop with your coolant and you're much more likely not to have to put in time after you fill up your coolant or after you fill up your loop. If you guys have any further questions though, feel free to leave them in the comments below. <clears throat> we also have a Discord and a Facebook group. Feel free to join those and ask questions in there. We've got plenty of helpful people that'll always give you tips on things like coolant just like this. <clears throat> We also have a sale going on this week for Valentine's Day. 
check that out. Um, you can see it over here somewhere. But uh, check out our website. We got a bunch of good deals going on. We also have a bunch of new uh, PPCs clothes. Here's the hoodie that we have. I'll be wearing some other stuff that we got uh, in some future videos. So stay tuned for those guys, and I hope this helped you out. Have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.